Okay, so to start our tea towels, I am going to be using some SVGs that I uploaded from Auntie Tay. So um, this is, video isn't sponsored by her, but if you become a member, um, you get access to like hundreds of SVGs and images and all this other cool stuff. So I am using some SVGs I got from her. Um, so I am going, to, I've already downloaded them, so I'm going to upload them by hitting browse. And mine usually go to my downloads, and so I'm going to be uploading these witch hats. I thought it would be really cute to have um, like d two different witch hats for my tea towels. So all right, there we go. So we have these saved. So basically, if you couldn't follow that, all you do is you go to upload image, you hit browse, you find wherever your images get loaded, and you just hit save down here at the bottom. Very simple. So now that we have them uploaded to our design space, I'm just going to click each one and you can see right down here they are ready to go so I'm going to insert them to my mat so they are quite large right now so you can see the different layers we'll be cutting out over here so I think for my tea towels I don't want them too big because the towels are relatively small so I think about five by five should be perfect. So to size your um, SVG, you're gonna wanna click this little lock over here to unlock it so then you can manipulate it however you want. And what I like to do is put it up here in the corner and then just stretch it or you know shrink it to the size that I want. So I have my five by five little hats right here ready to go. And that's the nice thing about these SVGs is now all we have to do is cut them out. Super duper simple. Um, not a whole lot to this. Um, the only thing I do want to do is I want to change some of the colors here because um, I have a sign in my bathroom I want them to kind of match so to change the colors all you need to do is so first I want to change this little guy here so you just click it and then over here you'll see this little square so that's the color it is now I'm gonna change it to an orange so you see now that that has changed color so now I'm going to click this little green guy and I'm going to make him purple. Actually, I think I'm going to flip these. So I think I'm going to make the band orange and I'm going to make the buckle purple. And then this one I'll kind of do the opposite. I'm going to make the buckle orange and leave the uh, band purple so they kind of go together um, so when they're sitting next to each other it will make sense so that is the great thing about these SVGs is now they are basically ready to go so we can hit make it and we can see the three mats that we're going to be cutting from here so we're going to have a black mat a orange mat and a purple mat so because we are being we are going to cut out heat transfer vinyl. We need to make sure that we mirror all three of these. So we're gonna just, to do that, all we have to do is click this little button for each mat and it's going to mirror these. Now obviously for something like this that basically looks the exact same way, mirrored or not mirrored, um, it's less of an issue, but I like to just mirror everything just to be safe. So we can hit continue and it'll find our machine here and then we'll set our settings. 
All right, so for this, we are going to be using our just, every, well, actually, take that back. So for the black mats, we're going to use everyday iron on, and then I'll come back. And for the orange and the purple, I'm actually going to be doing this on some um, purple uh, and orange glitter HTV. So I'll have to come back and change my settings. But for the black, um, we have our mirror on and we're going to use our everyday iron on. So I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can see what we're going to do. Okay, so to start our tea towels, um, so these are the colors I'm going to be using. So this like really pretty, it's kind of like a periwinkle purple. It's not like a deep purple, but I thought it was pretty. And then this orange, so that'll be for like the band and the um, buckles. So for the hats, I'm going to be using this um, just plain black uh, Easy Weed. Um, and for HTV, we want to make sure we do the, so we have our images mirrored and we want to put down the shiny side down, face down on the mat. And the reason why is because when we, because our image is mirrored, um, this matte or non-shiny side, this is the side that's going to be actually ironed down. So it's going to cut and then we flip it and press it. So I'm just going to scrape this down to my mat. And everyone always asks me where I got this from. This is something that I took from Joe's um, art supply stash. Um, he had to take like a painting class a couple of semesters ago or art some kind of like art class and this was his so I stole it um so here's our towel so we can get that out of the way we can get this out of the way we have our HTV on our mat so ooh, sorry guys see my messy stash of goodies over there um all right so we can now load our mat and my mats aren't very sticky, that's why this looks a little crazy. But it's fine. All right, so we're gonna load our mats. And once this cricket light starts blinking, we can cut. And this just lost connection for some reason, so. Okay, I don't know why that lost connection, but we are back in action. And I just put a little piece of um, uh, painter's tape up here just because it was starting to like flop. So now that this is linking, we can cut. So we can, sorry, see, I don't have a lot of space. So when my Cricut like pushes my mat out, it just goes like right into the camera um, holder. Okay, so now we are going to change our settings from regular iron on to glitter iron on to cut this glitter. So I'm just going to come back over here and I'm going to hit this little drop down arrow and I'm just going to change the setting to glitter iron on. So now we can load our mat with our glitter iron on. So first I'm going to do the orange and same thing you're going to do the glitter iron on shiny side face down on the mat. Right. 
Let's go lower the net. And cut. Now we are going to do our purple and same thing we're just going to leave the um, we'll leave the settings on the glitter iron on and don't forget shiny side face down for the iron on So while that's cutting, I'm just going to trim our hats. Alright, and so now we are going to weed out our designs. Now, um, alright, and so um, to weed out our designs, you would normally use your weeding tool, but I cannot find mine. So I just like to pull up a corner. And just pull away excess that we don't need. So we're going to be weeding out all the negative space. Alright, so we have our hats. And I'm just trying to see where these are actually cut out so I could trim the excess so I don't waste all of this. So again, just going to pull up a corner. And I'm just going to separate these out. Okay, and now for our orange. Same thing, I'm just going to pull up a corner. I love these glitters are so pretty. I mean, who doesn't like glitter? And the tea towels I'm going to use, I believe I got them at Walmart. So they were, I'm sure, quite affordable. So I'm just going to clean up my scraps here and we will make some towels. Okay, so this is the tea towel, or this is one of the tea towels anyways, that I'm going to use. So I just folded this so I could see how or what size I want this to be. And I'm going to be doing this with my iron because I, I know a lot of people, you know, have a heat press, don't have a heat press, want just an easier alternative. So this is going to be with an iron. So you could definitely do this with an easy press if that's what you have, um, or an iron. Both will work just fine. So I'm just kind of kind of smooth this out as much as I can. It is like so wrinkled. So that's also the nice part about having the iron out is I can just iron it. So I'm just gonna get some of these wrinkles out of it just so it doesn't look so horrendous. 
I've had people comment on my videos before. I can't get over how wrinkled it was. Okay, well, it's not gonna be wrinkled now. So, <laughs> so, I'm just gonna smooth this out. Okay. And so this is also heating up our surface for us as well. So this is kind of doing double duty. So now we can fold it nicely. Not that any of you guys needed an ironing lesson, but that was really annoying me. Okay, so we have our towel surface. So now all we need to do is start applying our HTV. So I'm going to unfold this just a little bit because I don't want it to be too um, padded underneath. Now, I don't have a surface underneath this. I just use my table as the surface. I got this for like 30 bucks off Facebook, so I'm just gonna kind of like, you know, work it into the ground, so to speak. So first, we are going to apply the hat. That's gonna be our base layer. And what I like to do, is put a piece of parchment over just to protect it as so we don't burn our towel. Now using an iron there's a couple of things. One you need to make sure that you are applying a lot of pressure even pressure. So we're gonna when we put our iron down um, I'll do you know one half first and then I'll do the other. I'm not gonna be moving my iron around. Second um, I have this on the hottest setting and the steam function is off. I don't even iron ever, so there's no water in this. So first I'm going to start on kind of the, you know, right side. Um, and just be careful that you try to avoid the seams. Now, if you want to lay this completely flat, you can. Um, I just don't have a lot of space, so I'm going to be just um, doing it folded like this. So I'm gonna put my iron on and apply a lot of even pressure for about, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 or 15 seconds. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do the same thing to the left side now. So we'll know if we pressed it enough because, see, we need to give it a little more pressure. So you'll know if you pressed it enough because the carrier sheet will just come right off. So now we can peel off our carrier sheet. And we can see the, kind of see the fibers through the HTV. Ow, I just burned my finger. Um, through the HTV, so that is great. So now we will apply our band. So how this hat works is the band is going to go about right here. So now you'll notice that this doesn't have like a space cut out for where the band should go. We just are gonna slap it right onto the HTV and then we'll put the, the purple buckle here right over it. So again, I'm going to put my parchment paper on and for the glitter, we really need to give it good, even pressure. So I'm not counting, but I'm going to do this for about, I don't know, 20 seconds. All right. All right. So we have our band, and so now we'll put our buckle just right over it. And I'm going to put this down, too, just to protect the rest of the hat. And so now I'm going to give it one final 
press Peel this off and then peel, peel our, all right, so we have our first, all right, so we have our first little towel, so cute, so easy, and I literally am doing this because I was like, um, I just put a sign up in my bathroom, like a Halloween sign, and the towels that I have that go with it are um like palm trees so I'm like that's not gonna work all right so now for this last one we're gonna do the same thing so I'm just putting this one next to it so I can kind of make them even so I'm gonna be putting down this black base layer first and again I'm going to press one side with lots of pressure for about 15 seconds or so. And that this is the only thing with an iron, is you really have to give it pressure. And then I'm gonna pick up my iron and do the other side for another 15 seconds or so. Okay. All right, so we can just peel our carrier sheet right off. And so now for this one. And so I just learned something. See how much glitter this carrier sheet has on it? I mean, I'm all for like the more glitter the better. Like don't even, I, you, that's not even a question. However, when I pressed the orange, some of that glitter got onto the hat. Not a big deal. I think it actually looks pretty, but if you are very picky and don't want glitter all over the place, just trim away that excess part of the carrier sheet. So we are going to line this up. And with something like whimsical like this, you know, obviously it doesn't have to line up perfectly, but with something like this, you can just look at the SVG as a reference and you can see kind of what direction it's supposed to go. I'm just going to put the carrier sheet back over this just to protect the, that black layer. And now we're just going to come back with our iron and just... Give it a good press, lots of pressure. All right. All right, and so now you can see we don't have all that excess glitter on our black like the other one. All right, so now we're just going to put this cute little buckle right in the middle. And again, I'm just gonna put this back over it just so we don't melt our HTV. Give it a nice press. So now to wash these, um, normally I would say if it was like a shirt, you would wash it inside out, but with a towel, it's a, you can't wash it inside out. So I would just do this on cold, delicate, and just a real low tumble dry and just see how that works. I've had nothing but good luck with washing stuff that I've made with HTV. Um, so if you would rather hand wash it, by all means, that would totally be an option as well. All right, all right, so we have our super cute little tea towels. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go put these in my bathroom. That is the only reason I made this video. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys have a great 
holiday and fall season. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting.